Sariputra's conversion. The Reverend Sariputra, pleased, delighted, elated, gladdened, and filled with joy, approached the Lord with folded hands, bowed to him, and, looking toward him, said, I am filled with wonder and astonishment, Lord. I am filled with excitement at having heard such an utterance from the Lord. And why? Until now I have never heard from the Lord such a doctrine as this. Though I have seen other bodhisattvas, and have heard the Buddha name of bodhisattvas who will be Buddhas in the future, and I am much grieved and pained and dejected by thus not having insight into the sphere of a Tathagata's knowledge. And when, Lord, I frequently go to lonely mountains, hills, caves, groves, parks, rivers, or the foot of a tree to meditate in the open air, then I generally abide in this state, thinking that, though entrance into the true nature of things is in name equal, we have been sent out by the Lord on a low career. And yet, at the same time, I think that it is our fault, and not the fault of the Lord. And why, if we had given heed to the Lord when he was uttering a lofty teaching of the doctrine, namely about supreme perfect enlightenment, we should have set out in those doctrines. Again, Lord, as at the time when no bodhisattvas were present, we did not understand the hidden speech of the Lord, and were in haste, we heard and grasped and learned and meditated and reflected on the first teaching of the doctrine uttered by the Lord. I pass my days and nights mostly in self-reproach. Now, Lord, I have reached nirvana. Now, Lord, I have attained nirvana. Now, Lord, I have become an arhat. Now I am the eldest son of the Lord, the son of his breast, happily born born from the doctrine, formed from the doctrine, heir of the doctrine, completed by the doctrine. Now, Lord, I am free from distress, having heard from the Lord such a marvelous utterance as I have never heard before. At these words the Lord said to the Reverend Sariputra, I tell you, Sariputra, I inform you before the world with its gods, Mara, Brahma, ascetics, and Brahmins, that you, Sariputra, have been ripened by me in the presence of twenty hundred thousands of millions of Buddhas for supreme perfect enlightenment, and you have for long been instructed by me. You have here been furnished in my utterance with the Bodhisattva Council and the Bodhisattva Secret. You, Sariputra, do not, through the Bodhisattva power, remember your preceding vow to practice, nor the Bodhisattva counsel and the Bodhisattva secret. You think you have attained. I want to bring to your memory the knowledge of your former vow to practice. I will preach to the disciples this discourse of the doctrine, the lotus of the good doctrine, a suranta of great extent, an exhortation to bodhisattvas, and a possession of all Buddhas. Further, Sariputra, in the future, after immeasurable cycles, inconceivable and measureless, after you have learnt the good doctrine from hundreds of thousands of millions of Tathagatas, and have done all kinds of worship to them, and have fulfilled this bodhisattva course, you, you, you shall become a Buddha. Padma Prabha by name, an arhat, a perfect Buddha in the world, endowed with knowledge and conduct, knower of the world, supreme charioteer of men to be tamed, teacher of gods and men, Buddha, Lord. The Buddha then extended further prophecies, followed by the applause of the audience. So the elder Sariputra said to the Lord, My doubt Lord is gone. I am free from perplexity on hearing from the mouth of the Lord this prophecy about my supreme, perfect enlightenment. But these twelve hundred, who have formerly been set by the Lord on the stage of learners, and have been thus admonished and thus instructed, that the doctrine and discipline ends in this, namely, the passing beyond birth, old age, sickness, death and sorrow, and the reaching of nirvana, 
And these two thousand disciples of the Lord, both those in training and those who have completed it, all those who have shunned the heresy of a self, the heresy of annihilation, all heresies, and who have formed the idea that they are on the stage of nirvana, they, having heard from the Lord this doctrine, which is like nothing they have heard before, have fallen into doubt. It would be well if the Lord would speak to these monks in order to dispel their perversity, so that these four groups of the assembly may be free from doubt and uncertainty. Thereat the Lord said to Sariputra, Have I not told you before, Sariputra, how the Tathagata, the Arhat, the perfect Buddha, seeing the dispositions of beings, teaches the doctrine to beings of various tendencies and dispositions by means of various applications and expositions, by different explanations of causes and reasons, principles, interpretations, and skill in devices. It is with reference to this supreme, perfect enlightenment that by means of the teaching concerning all things he sets forth the Bodhisattva career. 